हम नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट योर एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम ओके एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम ओके सम व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम रिगार्डिंग होलोक्राइन यस नो कैन एनीवन रिकॉल सम व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट होलोक्राइन कैन एनीवन रिमेंबर व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सर मींस द एंटायर सेल विल सीक्रेट समथिंग हां सीक्रेट मींस व्हाई द टर्म इज होलो you see uh, this term is endocrine that term was holocrine we have discussed in case of this uh, which one columnar cell regenerative cell yes or no goblet cell nidhi there we have discussed yes or no holocrine secretion yes or no this is endocrine what is the meaning so that secretion takes place in the exocrine glands aha uh -huh. secretion takes place in the exocrine gland yes sir and endocrine sir So that whole, so for holocrine, sir, I am saying. Okay, uh, uh, you say exocrine and holocrine somewhat equal. That means so here, what is happening? In case of exocrine and holocrine, whatever the hormone or whatever the secretion will be there, that will be secreted out outside. But you see holocrine, what is happening? That is coming outside, but within the body. But exocrine means it is totally outside of the body. Yes or no? So what do you think? What will be endocrine? inside the cell that means inside yes or no so uh, in inside the blood you can tell or inside the body cavity you can tell yes or no whatever the secretion will be there they will be released inside the body cavity that is your into your blood from the cell what will happen whatever the hormone is there either it will enter inside another gland or it will enter into the blood that's why it is known as what your endocrine system or endocrine glands understood yes or no getting my point yes, okay yes sir okay now you see the, wh what do you think what uh, what is the meaning of this endocrine system what do you think endocrine system hmm uh, hormone secretion sir yeah. okay that means secretion of hormone good so after secretion of hormone what is the use in the body what is the function of hormone inside this insect or in the insect जनरली हॉर्मोन वी कैन टेल यस फिजियोलॉजी इन देंस वाइट युअर हॉर्मोन मीन दिस मोल्टिंग प्रोसेस ओके मोल्टिंग हाँ और एक्लोजन और दिस हार्डनिंग ऑफ द क्रिटिकल मोल्टिंग हार्मोन विल बी यूज जुबेनल हार्मोन विल बी यूज ये सर ना हाँ दो थिंग्स आर जनरली रिगार्डेड एज वाटर एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम और एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड प्रोड्यूसिंग द हार्मोन गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ये सर नो यू सी फॉर डाइजेशन हार्मोन इज नॉट रिलीजिंग सम सलाइवा इज रिलीजिंग आफ्टर दैट द नॉर्व इम्पल्स इज दैट दे आर डूइंग द डाइजेशन But hormone is not required. Yes or no? But for molting, hormone is required. For this preparation and adulting, your hormone is required. For those things, your endocrine system is important. Not for the general things or which occurs every day. Not for that. Getting my point? Yes or no? Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. So now coming to your the endocrine system of an insect consists of a ductless. that means here what is happening you see whatever the system no not a duct is yes sir they are interconnected with each other and this is what you are not ductless that means it is ductless no duct is there getting my point or not ha huh? not like uh, you see uh, uh, like what you can uh, tell holocrine what i told columnar cells are there uh, arranged in a microvilli or honeycomb border and they will secrete the digestive enzyme not like that you see in this picture also no duct is there everything is interconnected and this will enter into the blood yes or no that's what doctors understood this point yes or no yes sir yes. that secret the chemical yes, called hormones okay which are released directly into the blood i already told in insect you see neuro secret uh, this endocrine system okay mainly comprises of four main organs those are your neuro secretory cells corpora cardiaca corpora alata and prothoracic gland about this four things we'll discuss in this particular topic okay so now coming to your neuro secretory cell the first one is your neuro secretory cell 
So what is happening here? You see, neurons present in the central nervous system. That means in the brain, your neurosecretory cells will be there. How many neurosecretory cells are there? You can see. These four points are there. One, two, three, four. Can you see? Yes or no? Huh? Getting my point. Group of cells are there. Not the individual. Group. You see. One, two, three, four. Can you see? Four group of cells are there. Yes or no? Two. That means four are there. Again subdivided. These are the median one. These are the outer one. Can you understand? Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. You see yes, sir. four group of cells are there. They are divided into two types. This middle point are known as what your median group of neurosecretory cells. And this one and this one. Yes or no? This one and this one. Last one. They are known as lateral group of neurosecretory cells. Understood? Yes, sir. Why it yes, sir. is, uh, it is uh, told that group because not a single cell is there. You see, a group of cells are there. Yes or no? Hmm? A group of cells are there. That's why it is known as group of neurosecretory cells. One pair of median group, another pair of lateral groups are there. Up to this understood? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Now, you see from these cells, yes or no, huh? you see these nerves are coming, yes or no? This one, this one, this one, this one. Getting my point? In case of you see median group, what is happening? Before coming out of the brain, they are making a cross, yes or no? You see, here one cross, here one, they were making a cross. Can you see? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay. sir. Understood. Yes, sir. But you see, in case of lateral neurosecretory cells, yes or no? They are not making any cross when coming out of the brain or coming out of the central nervous system. Understanding what I am telling? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So this crossing one is known as what is NCC one. What is that? Nervi corporis cardiaci NCC one. And the lateral group that is known as NCC2, which are not making any kind of cross. Simply they are coming outside. Understood up to this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. So, now what is the function? What is the function of this uh, what, uh, extension or this axon or this nerve? Whatever the secretion will be there from this particular point, okay, whatever the things are there, cells are there, whatever this, they will secrete they will be deposited into this next part. Yes or no? That is known as what your corpora cardiaca. One pair of corpora cardiaca will be there. Both are connected with your median and lateral group. Here one one and here also one one. Understood? That means whatever the secretion will be there or the hormone secreted in the brain, they will be released into the another gland that is your corpora cardiaca. Clearly understood? Yes or no? Yes sir. Yes okay, sir. Okay, clear? Huh? Okay. Now, after this what will happen? Here it will be stored for some period of time. Then what will happen? It will be released into the blood. Understood? Those things will discuss. Up to this clear? Regarding neurosecretory cells? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Now, coming to your corpora cardiaca. Okay. Which one is corpora cardiaca? You can see. This one is your corpora cardiaca. Huh? This, uh, this structure. Blue, blue one. Huh? Okay. So, now, you see what they are doing? These are the small paired body, you can see pair of structure are there. This is the brain, behind the brain this one will be there. Behind the brain means brain is towards anterior part, behind the brain ventral side. Okay, I will show you the video, there what will happen, corpora cardiaca will be there. Okay, they function as what, storage and release, I already have told, yes or no, for the hormone synthesis, NSE, we already have discussed. Okay, then what will happen, it will be released into the hemolymph, into the blood, okay. They are also known as neurohemal organ. Why? Can anyone tell? What I have told you? When the secretion will enter into the corpora cardiaca, corpora cardiaca, what they will do? They will release it into the blood. So, these neurosecretions are released into the hemo. That's why it is known as what your neurohemal organs. Understood? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Now you see what is happening, it controls the heartbeat, that means beating of this uh, heart of this blood, yes or no, pumping of the blood, they will regulate that one and regulate the tree hollows level in the hemolymph. I have discussed one thing, which one is the uh, insect sugar, tree hollows, yes or no, huh? tree, tree hollows, hollows. Okay. tree hollows is absent in which insect, that also we have discussed, tree hollows absent in which insect? 
Trihalos absent in which insect? So European bee. European bee, very good. Huh? Epismellifera, huh? very good. Okay. Trihalos absent in European bee, good. Okay. Then, next one you see, next one, this one. Okay. This color, huh? this pair of structure. They are known as what? Your corpora alata. Which one you can see? Corpora alata denoted as CA. Corpora cardiaca is CC and corpora alata is what? Your CA. These are also paired organ? Yes or no? And they may fuse to, uh, into one in some insect. That means in some insect what will happen? They may be fused with each other. Okay? That is not important. Immediately behind this CC, corpora cardiaca, no need to tell. Yes or no? And connected by your nervi corporis alati. This is important, which is not conspicuous. That means, you see, these are what? These nerves, these are known as what? 1, 2, 3, but these are known as? Now I have told, na. Which one? Neurosecretary. Nervi corporis cardiaci, NCC 1 and 2, yes or no? So, the thread is present in between corpora cardiaca and corpora alata. That is known as what? Your? Which one? Norvi corporis alati. Understood? Alati. alati. Okay, that is the meaning of that. Huh? But you see in this picture it is not clearly visible. Yes or no? In some insect they will be what? Reduced. Okay. These are also ectodermal in origin. This one I will tell you huh? in a PPT I will send which are ectodermal and all. Okay. In origin and clearly glandular you can see glands are there which will secrete the hormone. Okay. Neurohemal organs store this secretory product in a special chamber until stimulated to release it by a signal from the nervous system okay leave so you see what happens uh, next thing we'll discuss then we'll discuss this one prothoracic gland what is prothoracic gland you already have discussed this one prothoracic gland what is that sir prothorax in, in pro the insect very good <laughs> gland is there in the prothorax yes or no very good present near what Very good. Spiracles. Huh? Spiracles. Spiracles. In the prothorax, spiracle is there? Is it there? Yes, sir. Sure. Huh? In general, is it there? Generally? Not no, there. Sir. Yes or no? no? Only in case of which one? Forgot everything. Huh? Hyperneustic, yes or no, in case of your diplura, Japix, yes or no, there only they have, what, spiracle in the prothorax, in other cases, mezzo, meta and eight number of, what? Abdomen. Abdomen. Abdomen segment. Yes or no, ten pair of, this spiracle will be there, some exceptional cases. Okay, so in most of the insect, what happens, near that region, where spiracle should be there, okay, near that region, what will happen, your prothoracic gland will be there clearly understood yes sir yes or no okay they are ectodermal in origin again glandular and larval organs being lost in the adult that means what is happening here prothora what i have told you in case of juvenile hormone and molting hormone when the insect is increasing like larva to larva larva to pupa pupa to adult what will be the concentration of concentration Decrease. Decrease. Yes or no? That means what will happen in the adult? Not at all. Prothoracic gland will be there. So not at all. Molting hormone will be there. Because molting hormone is produced by the prothoracic glands only. If it is withered, it is lost. So who will uh, secrete the molting hormone? Yes or no? Huh? Understood the link? Yes or no? Yes sir. Okay. Yes sir. It is an endocrine organ in the prothorax of immature insect only you see now. It will be clear. But it won't be there in the adult. Yes or no? Huh? So it is clear that spiracular are generally absent in case of prothorax. Clear? Again, prothoracic gland will also not be there in the adult. Clear? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. This one is important. This bold letter, it may come in the exam. This Weizmann ring. What is Weizmann's ring? Okay. In case of larva of cyclorophus diptera, cyclorophus huh? suborder. Okay, diptera is the order. Larva is known as, larva of diptera is known as, larva of diptera is known as, maggot, maggot, very good, okay, in those maggots what will happen, this CC, what is CC, corpora cardiaca, corpora alata and PTG, PTG means prothoracic glands, will all will be fused into a single ring gland, 
that is known as what your Weismann's ring in case of your this cyclorophan diptera. Cyclorophan means what your housefly, fruit fly, they will come under this suborder. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes or no? It may come in the exam. Okay. Now, now coming to the steps, what happens? Okay. You see what is happening. First one is what your brain hormone. Okay. Here what happens you see in this picture I will tell this is what brain yes or no central nervous system here the neurosecretory cells are there getting my point yes or no yes sir okay now what will happen the secretion will be there from this only the brain hormone which is also known as activation hormone will be secreted from the neurosecretory cells from this they, where they will go from this where they will go where they will go brain huh where they will go Pink. what hemolymph why hemolymph where i have told you about hemolymph have i told you neurosecretory cells are neurohemal or i brain. have to told you corpora cardiaca is neurohemal sir where do you wanna huh cardiaca is neurohemal sir Corpora cardiac that means through these outlets where they will go they will go to the corpora cardiac are you getting my point yes or no yes sir understood neuro secretory cell is there which is secreting the hormone which is known as brain hormone or activation hormone they are going to the corpora cardiac first understood after this yes sir yes sir no okay now what will happen here the hormone may enter into the blood sometimes otherwise what will happen here it will be stored stored for what you see they have two kind of functions okay two kind of functions are there okay that is what your allotropic hormone another one is prothoracicotropic hormone okay the hormone which is released into the allotropic that means into the corpora allata you see what is happening now if the hormone is released into this corpora allata or which is inducing corpora allata that is known as what your allototropin hormone understood yes or no getting my point i think not understanding yes, sir. okay suppose yes, sir, repeat again sir okay you see now corpora cardiaca is there yes or no huh? hello yes or no at least tell Yes, sir. On the uh, corpora, uh, corpora cardiaca. In corpora cardiaca, now what is stored? Bone. What is stored? Brain hormone. Brain hormone is stored. This one is stored. Yes or no? Which is also known as activation hormone and adrenotropic. Why? I will tell you. Okay. Now, this brain hormone has two functions. What are those? One is allototropic, another one is prothoracicotropic. That means the hormone which will activate the corpora allata that is known as what your allototropic hormone otherwise allototropin understood oh yes sir, yes sir understood okay now next one is prothoracicotropic hormone that means what they will do the hormone which are responsible for activating activating prothoracic gland prothoracic gland yes sir now i have told you prothoracic gland what secret uh, religious which hormone molting hormone molting hormone so what is the role of brain hormone brain hormone will Activates. activate prothoracic uh, what prothoracic gland to secret molting hormone understood clearly yes sir this one i may not have told juvenile hormone similarly this brain hormone which is also known as allototropin hormone which activate corpora allata to produce this hormone juvenile hormone understood Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of the things may not be asked in the question. Generally, which question come in the exam? Juvenile hormone uh, released by which gland? This molting hormone released by which gland? Generally comes in the exam. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why this is known as activation hormone? Now you only t tell why it is no also known as activation hormone. It activates a little bit of the hormone. Yes, sir. No? And also, are you Huh. Okay, they will activate or they will activate the glands. That's why it is known as activation or adenotrophic hormones. Understood? 
Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Now, coming to this chemicals, hormones, you see, where it gone? Okay. Juvenile hormone. Secreted by what? Your corpora alata. It is also known as neotinin. Okay. Generally, what happens in case of insect larva, they have some juvenile phages. J0, J1, J2 and J3. Okay. These are the whole stages. Then what is happening? You see J0, J1 generally in the egg. Then J2 generally in the larva stage. And J3 is generally in the adult stage. Understood? Their juvenile, their maturity you can tell. Getting my point? Yes, sir, sir. You see, the larva and the adult, they are the morphological feature. But the maturity and behavior is generally due to this. But due to this juvenile hormone which is undergoing inside the physiology system getting my point yes sir yes sir no yes, sir. like kritik roshan yes or no he was morphological taller but in koi mil gaya he was immature getting my point or not huh? like that you jadu sir ha huh, jadu jadu ha ah, yes that one ala jadu ha ah, okay understood yes sir if high concentration of juvenile hormone will be there then what will happen Larva will become a larva only due to molting. Huh? If JH is reduced, then larva will become pupa. If JH will be diminished, zero, then pupa will become adult. This is the concentration of juvenile hormone. That means larva to adult, the juvenile concentration is decreasing. That is the meaning of that. Clear? Yes, sir. sir. What do you think? What will be the primary function of juvenile hormone? What do you think? What is the primary function of juvenile hormone? Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. They will trigger metamorphosis or they will inhibit metamorphosis? For growth and development. Okay. Okay. They are regulating all of these things. Yes, no, juvenile hormone. Okay. Good. Very good. Huh? What they are doing actually? They are a negative force. That means they are preventing one insect to mold, to mature. Yes or no? That's why if high juvenile hormone is there, it is preventing the larva to become pupa. It has to be reduced so that larva will become pico, pupa. Getting my point? So what is the primary function? To retain the juvenility. Getting my point or not? To retain the ju juvenile. That means it is a backward force. Getting my point or not? Yes or no? Yes sir. Okay. Yes sir. Then you see some other function are like important for development of ovary in case of adult female. Okay, in adult male again they help in uh, production of this seminal fluid of the spermatophore. Okay, or case of the spermatophore. Yes or no? Then in absence of normal jazz production, what will happen? The adult may remain sexually sterile because the case, the coating of the spermatophore will not be produced. Generally, sometimes what happens? It is produced by the malpighian tubules also sometimes. Okay, understood? Yes or no? <laughs> These are the functions of juvenile hormone. Okay. Now coming to your egg dye zone, the last one. Okay. What is that? Molting hormone. The molting hormone, uh, another name is your what? Egg dye zone. Is it, it is a steroid. Uh, this may come in the exam, not in normal exam, in entomology. Huh? Exam it comes. Huh? Molting hormone is a steroid. Okay. Secreted by prothoracic glands. We have discussed. Yes or no? Present near prothoracic spiracle. Not important. Then. Molting in insect is brought about only in the presence of egg dyson. What is the meaning of that? If molting hormone will be more, then all the insect will molt. If it will reduce, gradually, gradually molting process will be slowed down. After the, once they will become pupa, molting hormone will be reduced. In the adult, zero. That's why in the adult stage, prothoracic gland will be atrophied, wither away, non-functional, reduced. No molting hormone production. That's why they generally don't molt. With some exceptional cases. Clearly understood? Yes or no? Yes sir. Understood? Sir. Huh. Yes sir. Molting hormone works antagonistic to juvenile hormone. You see, not like that. Not like that. You see, molting hormone is generally based upon what? Morphological development. Yes or no? The insect is molting. What is the meaning of that? To expand the body size, they are molting. Getting my point or not? Yes, sir. But juvenile hormone is regarding the maturity, physiology. Getting my point? Yes, sir. Understanding. And this uh, particular mechanism can be useful for your which one? Uh, pest management, insect management. How? Just like this again, koi mil gaya. Here, what will happen? 
you will apply some insecticide for which what will happen juvenile hormone will be very high that means artificially you will apply the juvenile hormone that means juvenile hormone won't decrease yes or no yes or no yes sir if you apply additional amount of juvenile hormone to the insect will it decrease no if juvenile hormone is not decreasing then what will happen will the insect will mature no yes or no yes sir okay but now coming to the morphology molting hormone is there as usual you are not hampering that one yes or no yes sir so molting hormone will reduce if molting hormone will reduce then what will happen morphologically the insect will exceed first instar yes. second instar third instar fourth instar pipa adult they will become <coughs> then they will be like rithik roshan rahul yes or no ha huh? they are immature but they are adult suppose caterpillar they have a feeding habit or the digestion capacity of a what solid feeder but their mouth part is like a liquid feeder siphoning type so definitely there will be disruption and the adult even may not emerge also due to such kind of disruption and the insect will die getting my point or not yes sir understanding something we'll discuss in the second and third semester na this things more properly metathetally prothetally so many terms are there na it is coming under igr insect growth regulator for pest management we'll discuss in the third semester okay specific chapter is there one hour class understanding now you see one two more hormones are there okay those are your eclosion hormone okay another one is your borsicon hormone okay you see what is the function of this eclosion hormone again somewhat your uh, which one molting process only but emerging from the pupal case or a egg hatch egg hatching that means rupturing that case and need to come out that is known as what a eclosion emerging out that is what your eclosion okay released by the brain controls the process of eclosion brain means what again from the corpora cardiaca not directly from the brain okay then tanning hormone or borsicon this is also what your process of tanning and sclerotization of the new cuticle tanning process yes or no sclerotization we have discussed